Hey guys, how's it going? So the project for today is getting all of our sweet peas planted out here in the cut flower garden. Erin and I set up the trellises this last week and then I moved the sweet pea plants from our studio out to the cold frame and then I've been wheeling them in and out of the cold frame every day so that they could experience sun and I did it for increasingly like longer amounts of time every day. Um, and I also wanted them to experience some of the breeze because as you know, it's very breezy. However, I don't think any spot in our like our older garden is as uh, windy as it is out here where there's really not a lot of protection. Although this is the closest spot to the homes that have been built and the fence and our arbs. So I feel like of all the spots that could be out here, this is probably the best one for them. So they're looking pretty good. You can tell the ones that were not pinched versus the ones that were. These are just a little bit stockier. Um, I've got to amend the area first. So these are our trellises here. If you didn't see the video where we installed them, we just used some ranch panels that we had on hand. So they're actually not as tall as they really should be. I think you should probably put in uh, panels that are about six feet tall, but you can put them on a trellis uh, or an arbor or something like that or a fence and you can train them to grow on whatever. And I just wanted to use what we had on hand. And then we've got drip tape on either side of the trellis. They have emitter holes every six inches and that's about how far I'm gonna space them and I am going to plant on both sides. So on both sides of these. And it's going to be so pretty and all of the implements for the tractor those are just parked over here temporarily while the gravel is being put behind our orchard fence over there so the first thing i need to do is amend this area fairly heavily because sweet peas are heavy feeders so i'm going to put um, a bunch of biotin starter fertilizer a bunch of land and sea compost and i may come along with flower tone about midway through their growing season to give them a little boost but as you know this uh, land is raw this is the first time we've planted over here our stuff did great last year so i'm very much so looking forward to this year's garden and this year the sweet peas are going in the ground about a month and a half earlier than they did last year which is a huge win for us out here to have it set up this early. I also made some bigger tags because you can see what kind of tags I have in here right now. They're really small and while they're very efficient for these trays, it's really hard to see them, especially once the plants start to grow. So it'll be nicer to have something that sticks out a little bit more and they're a little bit more like you can eat, uh, read them easier. All right, so let's just get these rows amended. So good these sweet peas are gonna love it so I use the biotone and the compost and as I plant these things I will just work in the amendments by hand uh, it'll still look like I've got quite a bit left on the top of the soil surface but that's really easy to do when you have such a difference in soil color native soil compost <laughs> crazy difference I'm also working up quite a sweat out here. It's supposed to be in the 80s for the next couple of days, which is going to be great. The plants are going to love it. We'll probably see some growth. Um, so now I'm going to show you what these sweet peas look like in these root trainers, which are the deeper pots. And I love how they open and close. Let me show you. All right, so that is what a root trainer looks like right there. They're just deeper pots for those types of plants that have aggressive root systems that want to go deep and have a lot of room to grow. And it eliminates the need to have to pop these up into larger size pots like mid growing season um, before you're ready to plant them outside. And then when you're ready to plant them, they just unclip like so and you open up and you can see all their roots looking very healthy and nice in there. And so, whoops, <laughs> try not to drop them. And then we can just take each one of these out. Ooh, they're kind of growing together too. Plant it and then we're just gonna rinse all of these containers and we can use them over and over and over again. So pretty awesome. All right, so now let's just get them all planted.
I got them all in the ground. They're all watered in and I'm so excited to watch them grow. Doesn't that just look happy? Seeing some green out here. So let me go down each side and I'll tell you what we've got and we'll maybe throw a picture up on the screen. We've got Spencer Ripple, Marjorie Carrier, Nimbus and a tag that Benjamin planted. Peggy Sue, another tag from Benjamin. Then way down here we've got Edith Flanagan and Blue Ripple, which Blue Ripple goes around the back side. White Frills, Midnight, Elegant Salmon Rose. Oh, this is the tag that Benjamin colored and put it in the ground and said, these are Benjamin's flowers. So that's what that variety is. We've got Beaujolais right here. That finishes off this row. Start of this row, we've got Molly Rillstone, Mr. P, Old Times, which is my favorite, Mars, Wiltshire Ripple, which goes around the back side. And I only planted one other variety on the back side because actually I don't think the tiller made it all the way over. It was pretty hard on this side. So what I'll do is I'm gonna leave the compost here because I think it's perfect and then we'll make sure to get this spot worked up the next time we work this area up. Uh, we've got Bix right here, little section. When I got through planting the second variety, so I was just on the first part of this fence here, I thought, you know, I should have pr probably planted the same variety on each side of the fence section so that they were all blocked, all color blocked. But then I decided, nah, I'm just gonna plant them like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go down one row, one side and back the other side and just let it be a beautiful mix of color. And then we'll kind of know where everything's at because I think the color difference is enough because I tried to go like, you know, blue, light color, pink, light color, more of a, like a reddish color um, so that everything was a little bit separated so there isn't like two pinks right next to each other. So our water system is hooked up and it will start watering tomorrow morning at six o'clock and it'll get water every single day, um, which is kind of necessary for our stuff out here for how windy it is. If for some reason we get some weird freak storm, especially in this the next few days, I'll come out and probably just wrap some um, cloth, some harvest guard cloth around the base of the fence section um, just to protect the plants because even though they've been outside for several days, it's still, uh, it makes me a little nervous because of how um, windy it can be out here. And then I'll come through mid season, give them some flower tone for just another boost of um, energy. And we should be seeing some really pretty color here pretty quick. And you know what, I think while I was doing this, Aaron was fertilizing our lawn. And I know a lot of you guys have questions about what we put down and at what time. We do try to make a video about it every season, but I know a lot of you guys are new to our channel. So um, what he did put down was a spoma lawn food and soil acidifier because of our high pH, which may not be something that all of you guys need to do with your um, soil. It's just something that we're trying to do to make our plants happier because most plants want like neutral to slightly acidic soil. Most plants. There are some that do fair in alkaline soils. This was the first application of anything we've put on the grass so far this year. We've been watering it. It has been mowed like one time except for the middle section that has the robo mower that goes every single day and it looks amazing. Um, but he did say he was going to take a camera out with him today. So we will play that footage for you right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.